Welcome to our story. Hey there, tubers. How you all doing? Just thought I'd share this Dr. video Sugar, with here you. Here is a question it's about called God. God. What does it mean to say that God is, is love? love? Do Muslims believe God is love? Yeah, the statement as it is, uh, it's a reflection of a statement that is found in the Christian Bible, eh? where it says God, God, God is love, in First John chapter 4, what verse 8. What an ugly son of a um, bitch. That statement is not found like that in, in the Quran, and uh, grammatically one might wonder about uh, how that statement is put together, because uh, it's like if we said God is green, green is, uh, is a sort of a predicative adjective, so God is love is a predicative adjective of, of God. So, and that needs some analysis, but let's get back to what the Quran actually states. Uh, the Quran actually uh, tells us that uh, God is Ghafurul Wadud. He is uh, forgiving and he is Wadud. And Wadud means he, something like he is full of loving kindness. Mm. It is a compassionate type God of uh, love. So God has compassion people, for his man. creatures and love for his creatures. Uh, in various passages of the Quran, God invites what us to love him. What the hell are they doing for in example, Canada? For uh, example, in the second chapter of the Quran, it says, well, It's like a robe you would wear to bed or something believe are most intense in their looks love like for a God. And the reverse is also true, ready that to God take a loves fucking his nap, eh? uh, creatures. Uh, in the same chapter it says, in Allah bin Nasi la ra'ufur rahim, God is well, uh, tender towards shit up, uh, human, humankind. Um, uh, the Quran uh, tells us that uh, if no you love God, Canada, then man. follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the third chapter of the Every Quran, time the he says the Prophet verse. Muhammad, he has to say, uh, peace be upon him. The Quran also says him. that if you uh, renege from God's uh, uh, covenant with you, uh, then you should know that God can easily replace you with another people who... Uh, uh, Is that what God's uh, doing right uh, now? Replacing Canadians he, with God these is going fucking to love them, pieces of and shit? they will love God. So it's a two-way street. God loves the people, and the people love God. So the idea that God is loving and kind, this is there in the Islamic teachings as, as well. Coming back to the statement itself that God is love, uh, to put it in this way, it may uh, seem from a Muslim point of view to be an exaggeration of a good teaching that God is loving and, and kind. Uh, because if you want to say that God is like all-encompassing love and, uh, and God is like, he loves absolutely, then it becomes difficult to explain why would God punish anyone, even Satan, uh, for any, any misdeeds. Allah One might have to say, well, Satan, God loves the sinner but fool. hates the sin, but at least then God hates something. Uh, but, but it's clear from the scriptures as well that God hates some types of people. And if oh, this is universal, God one cannot uh, get away from this. So people. I think the, the way in which it is said in the Quran is quite Would balanced. Would that be the in infidels? God is loving and is that kind. What you're he is suggesting? merciful towards uh, human God is beings loving and, and kind, uh, except he them. hates and we are invited some people to love God who are non-Muslims. So beautifully put. Thank you for that, Dr. Yeah, you're welcome. Beautifully put. Allah hates infidels. Anywho, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.